Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Claggett Ball Band concert. So the band that I have sitting behind me right now is our sixth grade band. Here we go. So when they walked in the band, many of them had not seen their instruments before. They kind of sat there a little confused as to how to put them together. And it did kind of look something like that. But after a couple of days of kind of figuring out how to put them together, how to hold them correctly, they finally figured it out. <laughs> then, once we got kind of past just normal instrument carriage, feet position, head position, hand position, we got to try our very first sound. And I say sound, because you'll hear it. <laughs> position, past how to hold it, past how to just make a sound on it, we finally got to learn some of our very first notes, and so we're going to play for you our very first note. A little nicer sounding. So once we got past the first note, we gave them two notes then three notes, then four notes, then we finally got to our fifth note. And by the time we got to our fifth note, we were finally able to start delving just a little bit farther into our book, which is where we're going to play some of our very first pieces for you here. So. Once we got past five notes, we started to add six. And then as soon as we added six, what we started to do is we started to kind of introduce them to working in sections. So the next piece that you'll hear is actually broken up into our three, what comprises our band, three different sections. So you'll see in the back, we've got our percussion section. We've got our third section, our second section, which is going to be our woodwinds that you'll hear. And then our third section, which you're going to hear is going to be our brass. So see if you can kind of identify which one is which. between each one of those. It gives them each a different timbre, is what we call it, a different sound quality. Um, the next one we're going to do with you for you is we got into a little bit more about phrasing and where we breathe. 
um, you will recognize the song, but it's just kind of expanding our repertoire of how do I control my air when I'm playing. switching around in the back. One of the things that comes with being a percussionist is having to learn multiple instruments. So at the very beginning of the year, we actually start them all off on bell kits, which you saw those of us, um, those of them on the left-hand side were playing. And then what we do is later on in the year, we start to introduce them to using the pads or what will be our non-pitched instruments, so snare drum, bass drum, things like that. So in order to allow them a chance to get used to doing both of them, that's why we're kind of switching back and forth here. Okay. Um, the next piece that we've got for you, you'll kind of recognize the melody here, um, but it allows us to not only work on forming harmonies together, but also kind of passing those harmonies around. gotten used to playing those more simplistic quarter note, half note, whole note rhythms, what we started to do is adding notes called pickup notes, which happen before a measure even starts, and also adding in some eighth note rhythms. Plastic, what we call just like etudes or little snippets of songs like that. Um, the last two pieces that we have to perform for you, the first one you know is Old MacDonald, we know it as Old MacDonald had a band. Um, but this is what we consider one of our more full band arrangements that allows us to have our three different sections that I talked about earlier playing kind of separate parts but putting it all together to create more of the music or pieces that you know. Okay, so the first one we have for you, Old MacDonald had a band. <laughs> 